So I've decided that my Salvation Army is absolutely insane and no one shops there. I mean, people obviously shop there, but I feel like I always find the best stuff there. So if you guys are ready to see amazing stuff, make sure you stick around and watch this video because Wow, this is a good haul. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Shauna. I like to resell stuff online. I sell things on Poshmark. I do a bunch of haul videos on this channel. And yeah, today is a doozy. I actually went to Salvation Army to find stuff for myself. I found some stuff for myself, but I also found two trash bags worth of stuff for reselling. So of course, I found a ton of stuff. And it was crazy. I went through the skirt section, which I never do, but I'm glad I did because I found four pairs of Escada skirts. What? That's amazing. Three of them are wool. Here, let me let me grab one for you. So this first one, um, I feel like the color, I don't know if it's coming up right, but it's like, it's purple. It kind of looks blue in the camera, but yeah, it's just this purple pencil skirt, super vibrant gorgeous it has like this button and zipper thing in the back um i paid seven dollars for this skirt there is the escada tag and uh, this is pure new wool and it's like super soft there is the wool tag so this one is a size 38 this next one is the only one that isn't wool. It's like this satin. Um, I don't even know what color this is. It's gorgeous though. It's like this blue something. It almost has like a tint of green, but it's this blue pencil skirt. Super gorgeous. It's a size 34. There is the Escada tag in there. I also paid $7 for those skirts. Um, this one, I don't think it's anything, like the material isn't anything crazy. So the color is Peacock. So it has acetate, polyamide, and elastane. So yeah, nothing crazy, but still it's Escada and it's a gorgeous skirt. <laughs> this is one of the wool ones. It's like this green color. Also a pencil skirt, size 38. So I mean, I, all of these were donated by the same person. Like they're the same size. There is the wool tag. All of these are, I mean, they don't look like they've ever been worn. Like it's crazy. They have like the lining. Yeah, I also paid $7 for it. I mean, the skirt is just so pretty. And then the last Escada skirt is this white cream color. Um, I was, I felt like there was gonna be a stain somewhere on this, but there's nothing. It's gorgeous. Um, also a size 38. It's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at this. I've never found Escada before, so yeah, today, uh, the, it was a good day. It was a very good day. <laughs> I also found this Diane Von Furstenberg white button down. This is an older Dion, Diane Von Furstenberg tag, and it has like shoulder pads, just whites. It's very sheer, but it looks like this exact style was selling for like around 28 to $35. So I think it'll do well. I only paid $4 for it. I also found this Vineyard Vines gingham button down shirt. It is a size medium, but there is the Vineyard Vines tag. I paid $4 for this shirt and I just, I don't usually pick up Vineyard Vines, but I figured I would try it out. I think, I don't know if it's kids or women's, but I don't know. I'll figure it out when I actually like m do the measurements and stuff. These I got for myself, but they don't fit me. Um, I think in my head, I'm a lot smaller than I actually am, but there are these vintage Evan Picone wool pants. There is the tag. 
and I paid eight dollars for these but they're just like this camel color they're just a pair of like slacks they're in excellent condition and I just wanted to try something new style wise but um these do the, this does have a union tag so it's like really old which is awesome I mean look at that that is so cool it's not wanting to focus yeah there's the union label it says it's a size four um I will have to figure out because I mean usually vintage sizing is not accurate when it comes to like modern sizing so I'll have to measure them and figure out what the modern size will be so this was something else that I was going to keep for myself but it's a little too itchy for my taste. Um, it's really cute though. It is this pink sweater and it has like this open, like cross wrap bead style back to it. And the brand is Prana, it's a size large. I think there's wool in it though. And I thought maybe I would be able to get over the wool part. Sorry, it's not wanting to focus on the tag at all. Oh, that's horrible. Okay, well, it's a prana tag. <laughs> it's just, it's not going to focus for me. Um, I paid $4 for the sweater. And yeah, it's, it only has 10% wool in it. But it was enough to make it to where I couldn't, I couldn't wear it. But it's really cute. Um, this, I'm just experimenting. It's American Eagle Soft and Sexy, size extra small. It's just a striped long sleeve. Tea. Um, it's really cute. It's very soft. <laughs> um, I paid three dollars for it. I figured that was a low enough price to wear, like even. I mean, it it should sell. Um, it's probably only gonna sell for like eighteen to twenty dollars, but I mean, still, that's still a profit. So. And then I've never found this brand before, but it's Toad and Co. I've heard that this brand does really good. Um, it's a size small, and it's just like this. Uh, semi sheer button down shirt it has like this really cute detail on the back of it I paid three dollars for this shirt these are um, Ming Wang size extra large if I remember right Ming Wang is a designer um, I did not look these up I probably should have but it's a hundred percent filament acrylic I paid eight dollars for these and they're just a pair of black pants um I, I believe they look like they're wide leg um I think I don't know it's hard to tell with it being a larger size but I'll hang them up and figure it out from there but yeah I mean they're really nice pretty sure Ming Wang is expensive <laughs> this I bought because it'll probably sell for like 4th of July I have been selling a lot of like USA themed things but it's just Columbia size small um nothing super like amazing but paid three dollars for this it's just a usa american flag graphic tee these are point sir and they are new tags uh point sir is j crew these are a size eight i paid six dollars for these there is the point sir tag they are just a pair of gray paper bag pants wide leg super cute i think these will do really well they'll steam up very nicely and they still have the little belt so that's good <laughs> just so you guys know there are, there is there's a bunch of shoes coming up too i'm just showing you guys the clothing first um so this is eileen fisher size extra small there is the eileen fisher tag which is washed out but it's there just a dress um i was debating on keeping it for myself but i mean it's an extra small it it definitely could fit me i'm a i usually wear a medium so it's super like oversized i don't know if uh eileen fisher does any like specialty sizing or anything but um i don't know it's not really my style it's really nice though um i don't I think it has any crazy materials or anything. 85% organic cotton and 15% cashmere. So I guess it does have some fancy materials, but I did pay $8 for it. So 
Um, I think it'll do really well. And these are also Eileen Fisher. They're a pair of size medium pants. I paid $7 for these and they're brown. They appear to be high-waisted, I believe. And yeah, they kind of have a like a straight leg style, but yeah, they're just a pair of like stretchy pants. Maybe it was these that didn't have any fancy materials going on. I don't see any material tags, but it appears, oh, there it is. Uh, just rayon, nylon, nylon, and spandex. So yeah, nothing super crazy, but these do need to be washed. I found like some food spots or something on them. So these guys will be washed. These also need to be washed, but um, so they are white and they have like a bunch of dirt like all over them. But I didn't see anything that looked like it would be a stain. Like anything that's on these is just dirt. Like that will wash out super nicely. But they're just a pair of chinos by Anthropology. But they have like this floral embroidery on them. That is just so cool. I love that detail. Um, I think these will do well, especially with it being spring right now. So I definitely need to give these a wash and list them ASAP while it's still like that season where people are, wear are wearing white pants. But yeah, I paid $7 for these. You guys ready for some shoes? Okay, so these need to be like wiped down because they're looking a little dingy. But these are a pair of Converse with this like super fun neon orange like color scheme with like the glitter and I don't know. I just thought these were super cool. Um, paid $9 for these. Maybe I shouldn't have paid that much, but they're a size four. I don't know, they're cute. Um, and part of me was thinking maybe my sister would like them. So I have never found this brand before, but these are Piccolinos. Um, I'm not sure if Piccolinos heels do well, but I think they're known for like their sandals maybe i don't know but um yeah there is the brand in there um when i saw it i was like that looks familiar and yeah it's it's pretty expensive so hopefully these will do pretty well but these are a size 40 not sure what that translate to translates to maybe like a size 10 or 9 but yeah they have like a little zip on the side um, I feel like they should do good. I paid 10 bucks for them, so hopefully they'll do good. My Salvation Army is getting expensive, especially when it comes to the shoes. These are a pair of Lucky Brand boots. They have like this like really pretty laser cut circle detail on there. I feel like that's gorgeous. These are suede. There is Lucky Brand in there. Um, these are a size six, so they are a smaller size, but uh, Lucky Brand always like does pretty well. And with it being like a laser cutout thing, I feel like these would be perfect for spring. It's a perfect like transitional like shoe. Um, I paid $8 for these, so hopefully they'll do pretty well. These are a pair of Ugg sandals. These are perfect for right now. Um, the Ugg logo is right in there. Um, yeah, these will do super well. They don't look like they really have been worn. Um, and they have like this cork style, um, insole with like this espadrille and the zip in the back, tie around the ankle. These are a size seven and a half. I had no idea what this brand was. Um, I did comps and it looked decent. Um, I don't know if it actually will be, but, um, Spica maybe or something i don't know they're made in california um i figured i would take a chance with these because they are seasonally appropriate but yeah they're just a pair of wedge sandals they have like these like sparkly embellishments on there um yeah and they appear to be in really good condition um and they look like they're a size eight so i'm gonna hope for the best these don't look terrible Paid $8 for these. So these are a pair of Cole Haan ankle booties. Um, I don't know if these will sell right now, but I felt like they were just so cute. I didn't want to leave them behind and they 
don't really look like they've been worn. Maybe like tried on in the store or something. But um, there is Cole Haan in there. I don't know. I don't know if I should have gotten these because they're they're not like the Grandos ones or whatever it's called. Um, they're a size eight. I paid ten dollars for these. I didn't realize these shoes were so expensive. And of course, some of these were probably fifty percent off or twenty five percent off, but I can't remember what the color tag was for the sale stuff. So. Keep in mind, some of it's probably on sale. Sorry, I got a phone call, so I had to stop the <laughs> recording. This video is just, I keep getting interrupted. <laughs> um, so anyways, so these are a pair of Keens. I think the style is sought after. I don't know. I've never picked up the style of Keens before, but they have like this corded um thing i couldn't tell you what the style is called i couldn't find anything on the actual tag um i'm sure i'll figure it out by the time i but by the time this video goes up but these will be listed in my closet <laughs> but yeah anyways they are a size nine and a half women's so these should do well they don't they're like super clean so i paid ten dollars for these but i think these will sell pretty fast and they should sell for a decent amount if if they're what I think they are. So these are really exciting. They're a pair of Fry um, driving loafers. I have never found Fry before, ever, at the thrift store actually. So, um, and of course the Fry boots are what sell for more. But I mean, these are in excellent condition. Um, the leather, like, you can tell, like, you could tell these have been worn before, but they're still in really good condition and um, they're resellable, which is amazing. I need to like retie the little tie things up here. These were only four bucks. My Goodwill is so weird. Like literally a pair of Cole Haan boots are $10 and then Fry moccasins are four bucks. Here's the tag if you don't believe me. <laughs> Like, that's ridiculous. All right. But yeah, so there's the little fry symbol on the back of these. Um, yeah, I don't even know. These are a size eight. They're technically my size, but I don't, I don't really wear moccasins that much. So I'm going to sell these. Yeah, I, the, I don't even know. So these I thought were really cool. They are... Uh, calf hair Minnetonka moccasins. They're in excellent condition. Paid seven dollars for these. They have the little ties at the top of them. Um, so yeah, so it's cow hair upper, leather lined rubber sole. They are a size nine. Um, yeah, these are really cool. I like getting calf hair stuff. Um, I feel like it does pretty well. And since these are in really good condition, they should sell pretty well. Okay, the last item is not a pair of shoes. And honestly, part of me doesn't think this is authentic, but I figured I'd take a chance. I can always keep it for myself if it's not authentic because it's just a little crossbody bag. But um, it says Dooney and Burke on it. Um, I didn't recognize this type of label. Um, I do have a Dooney and Burke purse. And yeah, I don't know. It has Dooney and Burke on the little snap. Um, it says Dooney and Burke on the inside of it. I don't know. Is this like a newer Dooney and Burke maybe? Sorry, it's not focusing on it. Is this newer? Is this older? I know the one that I have is an older style and it like has like the made in the USA like union style tag on it. I don't know. And it also has this sticker on the inside of it, which I don't know what this means. Could be from a previous retailer or maybe it's something from that would prove that this is fake or real. I don't know, but there's that sticker. Could be just, I don't know. I don't even know. Um, there is a little uh, 
chain thingy where it looks like a coin purse could be connected to it. Um, it says assembled in Mexico on the inside of it. And it does have this Dooney and Burke like little tag on it. So, I mean, I guess it could be authentic. I just have never seen this style of bag before. So, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below if you think this is fake or if you think it's real. Um, I paid $9 for it. And, of course, it does have like this little spot right here. I'm not sure if that'll be... Well, yeah, it's actually scratching off. So, I should be able to get rid of that. Um, cause it's, it's just like a canvasy material right there. So, I don't know. I thought it was interesting and I didn't want to leave it behind just like, because I don't know, there was a chance that it was real Dooney and Burke. So <laughs> I figured I'd throw this in just because I'm really irritated about it, but I found a pair of Madewell shoes. I can't remember if, I think they were I think they were heels maybe or like heeled sandals or something but they were gorgeous i know for sure they were like some sort of open thing i'm pretty sure they they were heeled sandals they had an ankle strap but one of the pairs of heels were missing the ankle strap and there was no way i would be able to sell them without that ankle strap and they were gorgeous and i was super mad about that um because that would have been a really good sell and it would have been something that would sell super well around this time of the year so i just wanted to share my irritation about that um and i i did look around at on the shelves and stuff just to see if it was laying somewhere but nope it wasn't so i missed out on those but um honestly they're probably gonna end up getting trashed because that or maybe someone will like uh, figure out a way to like make it work maybe they'll tie a ribbon i don't know but it's just, it's not sellable but yeah very sad very sad but i think i got enough stuff to make up for those pair of shoes yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments down below your thoughts what was your favorite item from this haul um honestly i don't know what actually i know what my favorite item was it was all four of the <laughs> Escada skirts. Um, those were definitely by far my favorite, but I'm very excited about finding Fry for the first time at the thrift store. So today was a good day. I found a lot of first timers. I found a lot of good stuff in general. Um, people must not shop at my Salvation Army because I found all of the stuff just chilling and it hasn't even been that long since I've been there. So I don't know. I always find the craziest stuff at that Salvation Army. So I'm definitely going to keep going back. And <laughs> anyways, uh, make sure you subscribe if you want to see more content like this or just thrift hauls in general. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.